<laughs> all right here we go it's bow hunting vacation it's one of my favorite times of the year i've been taking these bow hunting vacations since 2011. um i haven't always had success but i've always had fun so i hope you stay tuned with us oh boy i don't know how i'm gonna do all this uh I think I'm gonna try and document as much as I can of it. Uh, <laughs> best case scenario is get it first first evening out and uh, that'll be it. We'll start thinking about gun season, but I always try and get one down a buck before gun season. So that's what we're gonna try and do tonight. Anyway, so this all twisted up <laughs> it's all fun and games folks i hope you're having a good time here we go okay. going out here to nick's place this evening uh should be a pretty good hunt we got a uh, cold front moving in and so that should definitely get uh, some deer moving tonight uh the only bad thing about when a cold front moves in uh, Nick has his property figured out and the best win for this place is the, the predominant southerly west uh, southwest wind so anytime we have a cold front come in to actually get the deer up and moving it makes it really hard to hunt but we're pretty optimistic. Uh, Nick and Eve have done a really good job this preseason on uh, adding some trail cameras out here. So we've kind of been keeping tabs on um, on the bucks. Nick's got several nice bucks out on the property. They've kind of uh, been a bit more scarce since the uh, since the rut is starting to heat up a little bit. Uh, and I know Nick has had a couple really good encounters. Uh, with some bucks out here. I had a, uh, a shot on a doe here on September 29th uh, and I've been caught. I wasn't able to recover that doe but uh, should have probably uh, but I've been doing a lot of work uh, painting work uh, on nights and weekends since then. I have not been <laughs> I haven't been back out in the woods since the end of September so here we go October 27th and uh, I think things are starting to heat up. Uh, one thing you can always do to gauge uh, the rut activity in southwest Missouri is to uh, look at the dead deer on the side of the road, folks. Uh, you start seeing dead deer on the side of the road, that's one good indication. You should probably be looking for deer on the road. Uh, but that also means that there are deer traveling a lot more in my mind, that's always a sign of a kickoff of the pre-rut. Uh, anyway, so I'm just doing a little bit of an interview. Uh, again, I haven't had a lot of opportunities uh, to make a lot of content this year. So, I'm trying to give you some updates as I go along. Uh, oh, Scotty and Nick, I think they've... Uh, uh, purchased them some muzzle loaders for alternative season. Uh, I did have one of the muzzle loaders, uh, but I uh, ended up going with a couple of uh, summit tree stands as well, trying to get my my mobile uh, set up a little bit lighter. Uh, self filming is not easy. I'm trying to get the guys into doing a little bit more self filming, and um, they are coming to find out that the camera arms and cameras and those kind of things are heavy. Yeah, they're heavy. I don't know if you guys have ever tried to do any filming. It makes everything uh, more difficult. Uh, the more you do it, the better you'll get at it. But, yeah, it adds a whole dynamic uh, to things. And again, the more you do it, the better you get at it. And I, I've just come to a point where it's just part of the routine, folks. So, uh, hence me talking. I, I, I just talk. And talk um, it's part of uh, part of my personality I guess I'm a people person uh, but anyway um, 
anyway back to the hunting setup uh, the wind direction is not perfect so I've taken extra precautions um, this evening for scent preparation uh, because where I'm I mean the only stand I can really hunt uh, I mean there's a couple stands and the winds going into the same portion of the field but um, or in the woods but uh, to get them out in front of me uh, I only have one stand really I can hunt um, so I did bring a little bit of active scrape doe and estrus I'm gonna try and find me a good cedar branch to get some cover scent uh, before I get set up into the tree um, you know we're going hard at them like always on Ozark Mountain Outdoor Adventures uh, anyway just a uh, blessed uh, to have the opportunity to be able to take some vacation days. I'm very thankful for my job. Um, I, I'm just thankful to, to have the opportunity in my health. I've got some health issues, uh, but I'm, I'm thankful to be healthy, uh, to be able to get out into God's creation. We serve an amazing God, folks. Uh, I have, I'm probably not as vocal as I should be, um, and that's that's out of fear for YouTube and social media and those kind of things but uh, you know it is a big part of who I am and my beliefs so um, hopefully hopefully that's something that you can relate to and if not hopefully it's something that will will help guide you um, to the understanding of uh, Christ is King But I have had some health issues the last uh, few deer seasons. I've had, uh, um, so I have rheumatoid arthritis pretty bad. And um, I have, I've had some limitations during uh, rifle season. You know, I go, I go pretty hard at it here on these bow hunting vacations. I'm a bow hunter. And um, I'll just put it all out there and then end up not being able to move much <laughs> during gun season so I've kind of had to set set out a couple gun seasons last year I was able to get out with Scotty my brother uh, I'm really thankful that we're we're being able to spend time together and reconnect and get reconnect to his youth and childhood uh, getting out into the uh, the great outdoors um, you know my father passed away in 2019 uh, that was a big blow to our family he was kind of the the glue that, that held the family together and um, uh, my dad and my brothers um, they used to do a lot of hunting together when I was younger I was more of a, of a fisherman uh, than a whitetail deer hunter and uh, so I missed out on some of those memories uh, Scotty uh, kind of you know lost uh, lost his way a little bit and got away from um, going going hunting and stuff but he's back into it again and and that's a really good thing, the outdoors, if you can get a, a youngster um, into the outdoors, it is something that they can enjoy their whole lives. And it's a, outdoors is another uh, way just to keep, keep, keep the kids occupied. So uh, fortunately, Scotty's, um, I think he's planning on, no, he's done more bow hunting than I have this, this uh, season so far. This is season seven. Um, man, I can't believe it's season seven already. Uh, I'm hoping to get a big buck this year. I really do need to get one. Uh, man, I had, it's been a few years. It's been a, it's been more than a few years on uh, an archery buck. I think 2016 was the last time I've uh, gotten an archery buck. I've, I've gotten a couple. I've gotten a nice buck, um, you know, with my rifle since then. But it's not all about. I'm not a trophy hunter by no means. Um, I really love doe hunting. Um, because oftentimes I'll be hunting public property and uh, I just don't see a lot of shooters um, I let the little ones walk and get good footage of them and have fun and, and those kind of things but uh, that's why I love hunting does and maybe if I let some more does walk <laughs> maybe I'd see more bucks but uh, I love doe hunting but I'm hoping to get a big buck this year Anyway, I appreciate you guys. Appreciate you guys tuning in. Again, it's all fun and games, guys. I'm just out here having a good time. I'm not some big professional star and all this. I'm just a 
normal average Joe. I'm just a little little guy out there having a good time. Uh, don't be afraid to get down into the comments. I'm really good about getting back in touch with you. Um, I, uh, for my job, I answer a lot of questions for low boats. Um, so it's kind of trickled over into the, uh, the Ozark Mountain Outdoor Adventures. I do a lot of uh, how-tos and gear reviews and uh, those kind of things. So, hey, if you have any questions or need assistance about anything, um, even if I don't know, I'm pretty good about helping you try and find the answer on things. I don't, uh, I don't even know every, you know, I don't know everything. And most times, the more you know, you know, the more you know, you don't know, kind of deal. So uh, it's a big world out there. And uh, the main thing is, is just to go out, learn from your mistakes, have a good time, put the Lord first in your life. all the other things will be added unto you so the leaves are starting to change uh, we got uh, Halloween coming up you know a lot of people a lot of people uh, kill some big bucks on Halloween uh, my kids are getting a little bit older my son just graduated high school last year my daughter's a sophomore um, so they don't do much trick-or-treating anymore uh, so I may try and get out in the evening um, Halloween I don't know we'll see how it goes we got a grandbaby on the way this year I'm going to be a granddad uh, thankful to the good Lord on that as well uh, we're rolling up here on the next place so I'm going to get off here for now I'll probably do some more interviews I know you're so excited just to hear me ramble on, but again, I'm just giving you some updates. I don't get to talk to you very much anymore. So. Anyway, if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button to the YouTube channel. Stay tuned with us.